I earned that shit. <laughs> Francesca is going to talk to us about Lunacy's estate, which was on last week at Neptune. I loved the show. Um, the performances were pretty phenomenal, um, uh, particularly Alexis Milligan as Penelope mm -hmm. uh, was um, mind-blowing. The ease with which she adopted the character um, fully from from her physicality to to her speech to just her reactions to other people on stage I, I believed her in the role mm -hmm. um, also it was really nice to see some young talent on stage I know Robin Hebb and um, Ashley Marie Pike are both very new to the theater scene here and they they certainly held their own yeah they really did on the stage um, the design was phenomenal. Design was um, Nick Bottomley's projections were gorgeous. Music by um, Sandy Moore yeah. was amazing. The costumes were absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I thought it was too short. Oh really? I thought there were there were scenes that we weren't seeing, and there were opportunities that could be seized to to let us see more of these characters' lives. Um, mm -hmm. There are a couple characters. I did, definitely had a lot of questions still yeah. when I came out, and which can be a very good thing, but there were yeah. some of them that I wanted to be answered in the show. Exactly, and and also there were there were just moments I wanted to see, like like people reacting to to a new relationship, people finding out about certain things. Why does there were some things that were kept secret or left untouched that. I felt could have been, they were juicy enough that we could have, they could have sunk their teeth into it mm -hmm. a little more. And I would love to see this show once it's been dramaturged more and workshopped more, uh, because I, I think it, it has some really powerful um, messages in it, and I think it was really brave of Lunacy and of Hannah Rittner to tackle some of the, the questions that she does in the show. Mm -hmm. I felt an immense sense of pride watching this show, um, watching these these talented performers, watching this amazing production, and listening to the poetic language that Hannah Rittner uh, used, and thinking, I cannot believe that she's only in her early twenties and is and is has these wizened words to offer us. Um, so I. I felt really great after leaving that show. I felt really great that finally something is challenging me in Halifax as an audience member. Upcoming events in Halifax. Mm. Upcoming events in this Hammersholt. Upcoming events in Halifax. Here we go. Lion's Den Theatre presents Strawberries in January from January 16th until the 20th at the Bus Stop Theatre. B-Side Theatre is having a fundraiser, a vaudeville fundraiser, mm -hmm. on January 19th at 7pm at Plan B Halifax. That's on Gunnergen Street, just a little ways across the street from the bus stop. Halifax Pride's Queer Acts Comedy Night is coming up on January 22nd at 8pm, and that's at the Company House. The importance of being earnest at Neptune Theatre is uh, opening on January 22nd for the Pay What You Can performance, so please, if you want to pay not the full ticket price, go to the Pay What You Can, line up early, early to get line your up early. tickets. If you are willing to pay full price, as many people are, you can go when it is officially opened two days later. Yes. So do that. 
And again, NTS applications are coming up on January 31st, so if you're interested in furthering your theater education, you can get that in and get that in there. And that's all for today, folks. That's all! Yay! Yay! What did you think of the show? Oh, fuck you. <laughs>